Hello everyone, I am Deepak Kunyal and I welcome you to the series of tutorials where we are discussing placement preparation for computer science and engineering students. In previous two tutorials, we talked about compilation phases and how a program gets converted from a source file to the executable code. And now we are going to talk about life of a C program or life of a C++ program. So that is the uh, same thing actually that we discussed in our previous tutorial but here we are going to talk about source file only right so a program gets converted from source file to the executable code and both the files are lying on the hard disk if you look at this source file you can see there is some code which is in the form of characters so let me write it in the form of notes so that you can understand these things easily so here is the file from the last video now moving ahead just write C++ program here has include stdo dot h so I think this first line is enough to understand what I want to convey here so source file is basically a sequence of bytes or we can say characters that you are seeing as characters these are actually bytes and byte one byte is actually 8 bits so everything that you are seeing here is actually 8 bit chunk that is stored in memory and if you see this thing has it is actually 35 sky value i is 105 similarly n c l and all these things so a to z a to z everything has a sky code so this a has 65 and if you add 32 to this you will get the xky code of capital Z which is 90 actually here the code is 97 and for the small Z it's 122 so every character has some sky values if you look at 0 to 9 you will find that these have some sky values 0 has 48 and 9 has 57 okay Similarly, if you talk about special characters, all these have some sky values. Look at this has, it has 35. Similarly, here in this program, we have a space here, right? So this space also has some value is 32. So we can write a space something like this. This angular bracket has a value of 60. Dot has value of 46 h has value of 10462 and after has include stdo.h we have a new line right so new line character has a value of 10 so this is actually a snapshot of c source file which shows the sky representation of hello.c right so these files which consist exclusively of sky character are called text files right and all other files are called binary files so if you talk about audio or video files or images all these files are binary files so this program which you are seeing here every C or C++ program begins its life as a high level program but that particular program is text file or human readable form format but this human readable format cannot be executed in this form and that's why we need some translator that can convert this code into a sequence of low level machine language instruction and those low level machine language instruction are packaged into a form called executable object program or we can say these are stored as binary disk file so I have shown you the files of all these formats hello.c, hello.i, s and all these things and at one time you might have seen that you are not able to understand the text that is written inside those files okay so if you are not able to read whatever is written inside that file that file is actually binary file so let's categorize these files whether these files are text files or binary files so this is a text file because we can read these files this is also a text file hello.s is also a text file 
but here hello dot o is a binary file similarly here a dot out it is also a binary file because we are not able to read these files clear so i hope now you are well aware of the process of conversion of a source file to the executable code a sky code binary files and how a source file is represented in sky format okay so this is internal representation of a c file or c++ file right i am basically talking about c and c++ programming languages here so that's why i am saying only c and c++ but some other programming languages also behave in a similar way okay so i think this is enough for this lecture in the next tutorial we are going to talk about pre processing phase till then if you have any doubt or query regarding any of these things you can always write your query in the comment and i will try to respond back as soon as possible so guys see you in the next video till then thank you so much Thank you.